Hey Laura, it's Sky Jackson here and I am going to show you my 10 minute quick makeup routine. So keep on watching. So the first step that I'm going to do, I wet my beauty blender so it's not dirty, I just, it's stained because I use it so much. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath foundation. This is great for having a very dewy look. Um, some other foundations give you a very matte finish, but I prefer this one and it's like my holy grail. And apply like two pumps to my skin and I'm going to blend it all together. So the shade that I'm using is Medium Deep 22. It took me so long to find the perfect foundation shade. I probably had around, I wanna say six foundations and I was going back and forth and combining them to get the perfect shade. But now I don't need to do that anymore because I have this. Also make sure you bring it down to your neck. Some people make the mistake and it's like darker here and then your neck is like lighter. So I always like to do that and a little bit on my ears. I'm gonna use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love Too Faced. They are just so great and I've been using them for the longest. They have great coverage and it's not too cakey. It's just the perfect balance for my skin. I love to have like a very bright center of my face. I learned that from when I was on Jessie. They will always use like a brighter concealer and make sure that the middle of my face kind of stood out more and it just looked great on camera. I also like to take the bottom of the beauty blender and kind of mix that foundation shade in with the concealer so it's not too bright. It just sets in perfectly. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, shade Ebony. I've always used their eyebrow definers. I like it because it's thicker rather than the skinnier one that they have. I just want to define what I already have. And a lot of people tell me that I'm pretty good at doing my own makeup. They always ask me like where I learned how to do it from and it's pretty much YouTube and I'm self-taught eyebrow gel. Clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. She has like the color brow gels, but I like this better because it doesn't make a mess. And when I tell you your eyebrows will not move, they literally will not. So I like to brush them up and you can tell how long my eyebrow hair is. I don't ever like tweeze my eyebrows or turn them. I kind of just let them do their own thing. And then go across. Still leaving some hairs a little bit up. I like to make it look as natural as possible. And then I'm gonna go on to the second brow and just do the same step. I used to spend like 30 minutes just on my brows alone, which is ridiculous. My mom would be like, it's time to go, and I was never ever ready. I'm going to take the Oma Beauty eyeshadow palette. These two shades, which I cannot pronounce, and I'm not gonna even try. I'm gonna mix that together, tap the excess off, and then apply it on my eyelid. I like my eyeshadow to be pretty natural. I think I'm just scared to experiment and try all those crazy colors. And when you're doing like a neutral, natural shade, you can't mess it up. It looks great no matter how someone does it. I'm going to take this rose gold color here, which I also cannot pronounce. I'm gonna take that rose gold on top and it looks amazing in the sunlight. I'm going to take their highlighter right here, Notting Hill, which looks like this, and I'm gonna place that on the top of the lid as well. This is my favorite part of eyeshadow, putting it in the center makes it pop. I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This just makes my eyelashes pop. I don't even need to wear false lashes. I never really like to unless I'm going to like an event. When I'm just gonna hang out with my friends, I like it to be really simple. So I'm just gonna take that. I already have long lashes, but everyone's like, wow, your eyelashes just look 10 times longer and crazy with this mascara on. I like to go on the bottom as well. My bottom lashes, just a tad, because if I get crazy, I'll like mess up and then next thing you know, I'll be crying and have to start over. The next step, which is my favorite, I love to like contour my face. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in shade Caramel Beauty. So I like to take it in the center tap off the excess and then do my cheeks like this and then bronze on. I also like to do my forehead. Like I said, I like to center my face to be very glowy and very bright while the rest is kind of 
when we're on the matter side. So I'm gonna take this angled brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I don't like to do it perfect, I just like the way it looks. If I were on a desert and I only had three products, it would honestly probably be my lip gloss, my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Second, I would bring my Too Faced mascara. And the third beauty product, I probably just bring face moisturizer. On my off days, I really don't wear makeup like that and I like it to be natural as possible. And I think that would just have me great and I wouldn't need anything else. I'm gonna blend this out. I don't like my nose contour too heavy. I'm going to take my little brush from Morphe and I'm going to take the Barbados Oma Beauty highlighter. And I like to take just a little, little tiny dot. A little tiny dot goes a long way and place it right on the center of my nose and kind of make like, um, not a circle, but like a dash across. And then take a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I don't like to do the entire bridge, just like the little center. That just looks amazing. So the next step, I like to mix two blushes together and then I'm gonna smile and put on my cheeks. So I like to put it on the center and then drag it up. And then I like to take it's a little bit darker and I just like to blend it all together. So it just kind of makes the perfect shade for me. A lot of people ask me the difference, like do you like when you do your own makeup or do you like when a professional does it? With the makeup artist, when I use my usual makeup artist, Brandy, um, for one, I just love how she does my makeup, especially when you're stepping in front of the camera, like a red carpet, which there's like 10,000 lights booming at you so they know what product is going to look the best. Second, I don't have to do it so it's much easier for me. But in all honesty, I rather when I do my makeup. I just feel like it looks more natural. It's quick, easy, looks like no one really did my makeup. I don't know if I made sense, but hopefully I did. The next step, NYX lip liner in brown. This just really makes my lips stand out and it's a great combo with whatever lip gloss that I like to use. So I'm just dragging that along, making sure I'm not going too far outside of the lines and then I'm gonna do the top. I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit so it's easier to blend out. I first started experimenting with makeup when I was around 12 or 13. I was so used to wearing makeup every day on set and I would go to a lot of events as well where they would do like gifting suites and they would always give like makeup products. So I had this one eyeshadow palette which I literally used for my eyebrows. So whatever shade was in there, which was not the greatest, I use it for my eyebrows, I use the eyeshadow for the eyeshadow, I use the red color for the blush, and that's the first time I really started to experiment. I look crazy, I'm not gonna even lie, I really did look crazy. I looked like if I was just like a clown drawing on makeup, but I learned so much from that, and it also taught me that you can use like one product for multiple things. If you have an eyeshadow palette that has a contour shade, then use that. But that's the first time I started experimenting with makeup and then I just kept watching YouTube videos. The next thing I'm going to use is this Dior lip gloss, 013, it doesn't have a name. This is just the perfect way to blend my lip liner and it gives it a very natural brown color. I'm a type of girl, I'm very, very neutral as you can see with this makeup tutorial I just did. You won't ever see me do like a dark brown or like a dark red on my own. And I also like to take the Fenty Beauty Clear Gloss Glass Slipper, cause it's clear. And I like to put that on top too. I just like to add multiple lip glosses for an unnecessary reason. But I just like the finishing look. And I also love how this smells. It smells like fruit and candy, it smells so good. So, the only thing that I'm going to do now is take my All Nighter Pollution Protection by Urban Decay, and this is a makeup setting spray. It just makes sure that my makeup stays on all day, does not move. So, I'm gonna take this and spritz it all over my face. Then, I'm gonna let it air dry and set for a minute, but guys, this is the look. Like I said, I like it to be very, very natural. You can do this in literally 10 minutes. 
Sometimes I do it in less than 10 minutes, but I would love to start experimenting with other colors and hopefully I will get the courage to do that soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I had a blast. Bye guys.